sitting there with my shirt off my head. She come down there and snatch my shirt off my head. Like my mama said, y'all gotta end this party. Now that I think about it, she was 18 because I had to think about what I was going to do next. I hit hard, boss, you can't tell me nothing. Spit fire, burning shit like a fucking toaster. Your main bitch want to pull me closer. What's good, Mo Mafia? It's your girl, Mo. And as y'all can tell by the title, I'm back with another... And y'all, I got Rasta Swisher. Rasta Swisher in the cut. As usual, she got some wine. We told y'all we was gonna do a burger mukbang. Mimi made us some, uh, what kind of burgers is these? Angus bacon and cheddar burgers. Angus bacon and cheddar burgers. Y'all, I got some skins. Mimi got some too. I don't know why I just needed a little crunch and I ain't wanna eat no chips, but keto friendly. Can, can, can we pray? God. <laughs> I wanted to try. Ooh, they hot. Is they? Yeah, I wanted to try. Ooh. And we got pickles, y'all. Let's say the prayer for Mimi eat her whole food. Ooh. Wait. They hot, hot? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. God is good. God is great. And we thank him for this food. We gonna thank him in the morning, noon, and night. Because God, God, God is dynamite. Amen. Amen. Game. And y'all, we got a story time for y'all today. Today, we telling y'all the story of the day we met. How everything went right. Ooh, these skins. Wait, no, they can't see the burger. Um, we telling y'all a story time on, huh? You can put them on your plate if you right. want. Right. pickle mm -hmm. juice. Good. I don't care. I like it like that. But y'all, we telling y'all the story on how, of what happened the day we met. Like, what took place. It was so funny. Let me bite my burger first. Right, let me take a bite. We gonna eat a little bit first. Mmm. Mmm, nothing. Mmm. I still got me two pickles. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. You got half one of mine. Okay. I'm gonna start. Damn it good. Mm -hmm. So, as many of y'all may know, because we told like how we met and all of that. Mm -hmm. Our first time meeting in person was when Mo threw my 19th birthday party. She used to throw sets and stuff, so she threw my 19th birthday set. Mm -hmm. Let me correct it. So, I was already there before she made it. So when she finally made it, she was over there talking to somebody. And I walked up to her like, uh-uh, uh-huh. <laughs> no, cause remember you came up the stairs and I was looking at your titties. Oh. That was, you wasn't there. I was there before you and I was standing up in oh, the front. Oh, you left and came back? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was standing up in the front. Mm-hmm. And she hadn't made it yet. So when she finally made it, I had walked up to her and I'm like, I'm Mimi. She was just staring at my titties. I'm like, I'm Mimi. I'm the girl who sat you throwing. <laughs> and I had a girlfriend, y'all. That's so funny. Mmm. Oh. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. But. Y'all. That ain't the kicker. This is not about how we met. This is about what happened. So. It started, I was there with my mama co-worker. Which was my friend. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And then like during the set, we ended up going over there by Mo because she was a DJ or whatever. You know, DJ Mo in the She cut. was in there smoking a the black. We was just standing there vibing, chilling or whatnot. Then boom, fast forward, set over. Now something happened for us to have to move the set. What happened? Do you remember? Y'all, we had to move the party. I don't remember why, but we I had to move the party. I don't remember why, but boom. Set was over. I had to move to another location. Now, this location. Now, nah, look. Ooh, Girl, I'm sorry. Oh. I need to eat my burger up because. For real? My hot. Yeah, no. I took the water or something. Mine is not hot at all. Mm. Mm. We're going to wait on her, y'all. I'm so sorry, 
Wow, mine is hot. That's crazy. Oh, it's so good too, but it's like cold. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. I'm so sorry for messing up the whole video. These mine anyway. Couple seconds. You got a camera full of chips. Mom. Nothing waiting on you. Me and my guy were one of my closest best friends. One of my best friends. Her cousin, me and her used to throw parties together and we like split everything down the middle because she had the location, I had the crowd. I knew everybody. So we moved the party to her her girlfriend house or her whatever they was at the time. I know they used to mess around, but she used to cheat on her, so I don't know. But we moved the party to her house. Now at the time, she was out of town. Yes, and she hadn't there. wanted no sets thrown at her house. Originally, the set was at her, my best friend's house, which is her cousin. So something happened where we had to move the set. I think they were shooting. I, I do not remember, y'all. But we had to move the party. So she was like, we just gonna well, throw yeah, it at my girl throw it at my girl crib or whatever. Oh, Hold on, we're gonna wait for me to come back. My mom. I knew it. Look. Look what she went and got. And I went like a couple. But anyway, y'all. So. Okay, okay. So. She like. After that, we moved the set to her house. And at the time, I guess they was into it or something. She was just telling her, like, I don't want y'all throwing no party at my house. I'm like, bro. Now, she said she didn't want no party at her house. She's like, man, Kurt, we throwing it at her house. So she we like, moved party. Here. Right, she was like, she ain't here, she can't do shit. Mm. Mm. Too hot now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we moved the party, y'all. Now. We get there, it's a vibe. We vibing, like party going down. Mimi having a ball. We down it's her birthday. birthday. Mimi twerked on me. No, my girl was upstairs. <laughs> About two hours in, no, it, her daughter come downstairs. No. What? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. you go. About two hours in, her daughter come downstairs uh, press pause on the music. Now, you know I'm the DJ. First of all, bitch. Don't touch my shit. This is my equipment. No, that was Nene equipment and like my speakers. Don't matter. Anyways, first of all, bitch, I'm DJing. Don't you bust up mm -hmm, you want your shit. Yeah, wait, I'm getting there. Okay. So, first of all, I'm DJing. Don't come in shit. In shit. <laughs> And shit round here. All you have to do is tap me and say, can you pause that? I got an announcement. Now, y'all, this is a basement party, yes, but still. So, she paused the music. She, uh, talking about some, um, everybody gotta leave. My mama said, uh, what no party supposed to be thrown tonight. I said, well, first of all, now, at the time, she was a kid. I think I was, what, 24? Mm-mm. No, I was 23. We hadn't been together yet. No, yeah. I was 23, about to turn 24. She like 17 or 18, maybe. I don't care. But my mama said, y'all, everybody got to leave. Ooh, I'm like, girl, I already talked to Nene. I guess her and your mama already worked that out. You can go back upstairs. You ain't even supposed to be down here. You can go on somewhere. Left, left it at that. Turn the music back on. We vibing. About 20 minutes go by. Here she come back downstairs. Um, what happened when she came back downstairs? She hit the table or something. No, she, what did she do that made me push both of them? Oh, she started pepper spraying, remember? No, 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 no. This, that wasn't yet. Mm. She didn't just come down there and start pepper spraying. See, I was oh, down no. there because you missed the part. 
Pooh Bear started having an asthma attack, and I was like, That was oh, after this. No, Mimi, I mean, that was after that. this. I wasn't in the basement for Mimi, nothing. I only came upstairs once. When I came upstairs, Pooh Bear was having an asthma attack. Before she started having an asthma attack, she came down there. She must have. No, she was up there. Oh, for no, a while. no. I no, didn't no, see no, no, no. I remember what she did. Someone with my shirt. Because that's what pissed me off. She snatched my shirt off my head. I, I must have been sitting there with my shirt on my head. Now, y'all, I'm wasted, drunk. I'm sitting there with my shirt off my head. She come down there and snatched my shirt off my head. Like, my mama said, y'all got to end this party. Now that I think about it, she was 18. Because I had to think about what I was going to do next. Her and somebody else standing right next to me. I stood the fuck up. Like I was a wrestler or something, and I bought both of my fists up, and I push punched both of them bitches. And they fell to the floor. Boom! Knocked them down like two damn bowling pins. Sure did. And I don't regret it. So, after I push punched the bitches, my cousins, all my closest friends, everybody just run over there. They get to fighting. I'm outside now at this time. Y'all, it's going to hell down in that basement. Everybody throwing hands. Now, me, I'm wasted. So I'm just muffing bitches, pushing people, punching whoever. I don't know who I'm hitting. I'm just whooping anybody's ass that's in my way. So... Um, your friend have an asthma attack. My friend gets to have an asthma attack. Everybody like, Pooh Bear has an asthma attack. I'm the only one had medical experience. So. We run upstairs. Mimi doing what she doing. Get get a, a bag with some honey. Yeah. So then, my girlfriend at the time came out there and seen I was helping their friend. And see Mo right there. So, whatever may have happened, she wanted to pull Mo away. So, I'm still sitting there attending to the friend. Mo had walked away or whatever like that. Next thing you know, Mo went back downstairs. Then that's when the bitch pepper sprayed. They say Vina did. Whoever pepper sprayed. Somebody pepper spray. I didn't so, go back downstairs. I went back in the house. Well, in the house. I didn't know if you went down or not. Mm -mm. So then that's when everybody came outside. Once we made it outside, my cousin and my one of my friends at the time, God rest her soul, she's deceased now. They just, no, it wasn't her first. It wasn't her first. I mean, mm -hmm. let me not say the name. It wasn't her first. Your cousin fought somebody else first. And her friend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My cousin get to fight with one of my friends. Friend. Y'all, this night was just... We was just drunk. It was just a drunk man. Then she just ran up on the other girl. Got to fighting her. I had a purse, a wig, <laughs> a jacket, <laughs> all in my hand, holding it. Oh, my, my God. My ass was out. I didn't have no panties on, trying to None. break up a fight. None. Everything was hanging out, y'all. So then everybody just get to fight. It's at least three different crowds fighting different people. Mo up on the porch, she want her stuff because they didn't lock the door while everybody came outside because they pepper sprayed. So my cousin took the With chair. With her equipment. No, yeah, the cousin, your cousin took the chair and then Mo picked up the barbecue grill and threw and it in the window. window. Like, give me my equipment, bitch. Like, snapping. Y'all used to be a whole nother person, no cap. Y'all, this night. That night my was birthday, so lit, though. bro. That it night was, was so lit. Yeah. It was so lit, though. Like, for real. Then to top it off, y'all, I was calling my mama and them. I was a spoiled brat at the time. My stepdaddy told me he was going to pick me up. No matter what time. I was like, we probably going to end at about 3 in the morning or whatever. He was like, all right, just call me. I'm going to pick you up. He did not answer. Fell asleep, did not answer y'all. I did not have well, no Well, to ride. this day, Mimi won't tell me where she went after that party. I went home. How you get there? Uh, Mike Mike now. I am. Well, yeah. I went home. Not crazy. Before all this happened, me and the person that took her home had a conversation. He's like, watch, I'm going to get her to go home with me. And then, I was in well, the Now that she, we talk, I'm like, did you go home with folks? Hell no. <laughs> 
crazy because I was sitting back there, y'all, and I was praying and shit. I'm like, I just want to get home. I'm like, mind you, I didn't live with my parents. I stay all the way across town where the party was at. So I'm like, I need a ride, folks. Man. I'm sitting back there like, Lord, just let this person take me home. I hope they don't kidnap me. <laughs> I was so Who nervous. Who in the car? Uh, Nene? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was Nene. And then they ended up just dropping me off and that was that. Like, they ain't even say shit to me the car ride. We made it there and they was like, this you? The apartment? I was like, yeah. It was like, all right. And let her Be out. smooth. <laughs> and let me out. Yeah. Oh, that hell. was so damn good. That night good. was epic. Yes, that shit was fire. Oh my god, really? that burger was good. I don't know what it tasted like. I just ate it. And let me tell y'all the crazy part about it. It didn't have no ketchup, no mustard. Y'all. How we go to how we go to the grocery store and not get no ketchup and mustard? But this is my second time making burgers and not having none, eating it like that. And I learned that she ain't even eating the skin. What I when you put the ketchup and mustard, I ate hell of them. I only got a few left. They hot. It give it a different flavor that's a little bit stronger than the burgers. So when you don't use when you that, don't use ketchup and mustard, I fire, promise bro. your burger tastes different. It's different. Now because that that's our story yeah. time. That night was cracking so hard, bro. Because I believe I told y'all a story on how we met, but we never went into depth what happened yeah. that night. We was just cracking jokes during the whole story time when we was telling y'all, but... And I never went there thinking I would ever talk to this girl. Right. Listen, I'm gonna do shout outs real quick. Post notification. First post notification shout out goes to Paula Capristo. Thank you for having your post notifications on. She said, I'm here, Mo. Thank you. Second post notification shout out goes to Xander d Dog. He always under my post. They said it's it's always at least one, but but it's needed in order to be blessed, if you know what I mean. It's just love your mukbang mo. Now I'm hungry as hell. You know I love my chicken. Good looking, Xander. Talk and third <laughs> third personal post notification shout out goes to Brooklyn's Angels. She said, Hi, I'm a huge fan. I love your videos. You always make my day. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber, Brooklyn's Angels, and I would love a shout out. There you go, love. You got your shout out. My mafia, if y'all looking to have a shout out, all you gotta do is be first to comment on my most recent video, and I got y'all. Make sure y'all post notifications on to all, and I got y'all. Make sure y'all go over to Meet Me channel, hit that subscribe button, link in the description box down below, and it's lit. And my mafia, we finna get lit, cause we the shit. Yeah! yeah.